One of the unique things about Pearson Early Learning Center is our focus on our Pyramid Model Initiative. The Pyramid Model is a framework of evidence-based practices that support social-emotional learning in young children. What that means is we have put uh, many different things in place to support social-emotional learning throughout children's experience. So one of the first things we did was get training for all staff. So every single staff member in the building has received training on a variety of strategies and interventions for teaching social-emotional skills to children and supporting behavior. Behaviors. Another piece of that pyramid model that we put in place are common behavior expectations. So we have identified common expectations for all of the spaces in our building. We have represented them in a child-friendly form on posters with pictures and simple words, and then we teach and practice those expectations with all kids in the building so that kids know what's expected, they have the opportunity to learn that, and then they know how to demonstrate that as they're part of a group and part of a learning community. We teach a variety of social emotional skills to kids throughout the school year here at Pearson. And one of the ways that we do that is with our social emotional curriculum. It's called We Thinkers, and it consists of a series of 10 stories and 10 concepts that we teach kids. Uh, the social worker and myself, we go into classrooms, read the story, do activities, and then teachers continue with additional activities to reinforce the concepts. All parents get a letter every week that comes home telling about what concept was taught and also ideas for practicing it at home. We're gonna talk about size of the problem. What does size of the problem mean? Small, medium, big, large. large. So what does it mean if I have a small problem? You all do it all by yourself. Oh, what should my reaction be? Um, no, no, no. What about a medium problem? Um, So you, so you can't do it by yourself? You might need some help to solve the problem? Yeah. What should your reaction be? Um, medium. So it's okay to be a little sad? Yeah. What about a large problem? You need a lot of people. You need, you need 10 people. 10 oh. Million. And what should your reaction be? Um, large. Yeah. So what if I spilled my water? What should the size of the problem be? Mom. What if I fell and scraped my knee? What's the size of my problem? Medium. Medium, medium. Because you might need somebody to help you. Yeah. What if I broke my arm? What would my problem be? Large, large. Why? Because you need a lot of people to help you to fix your arm. Yeah, I got Thank you. Another thing that we do is teach emotions. So we use a variety of different um, art, movement, classroom activities to teach kids how to identify emotions in themselves, in others, and then we talk about how do you cope with those emotions. So we have a calm down corner in every single classroom, just like the one I'm sitting in here, and it's full of materials and strategies that kids can use, that they are taught how to use, and then get to use when they're feeling sad, anxious, mad, frustrated, and we really try to kind of coach kids through what to do when you experience those emotions. And we also teach and practice social interaction skills with friends. So how to ask a friend to play, how to keep that cooperative play going, and then how to manage when social conflicts come up because we don't always agree when we're with other people. So we teach a social problem solving process where kids know what to do to solve a problem. And then we have a solution toolkit with visual cards in every single classroom. And kids can go to that as a reference to solve the problem together with a friend or with the support of a teacher. If you have a problem with a friend in class, what could you do? Get a solution toolkit. What is the solution toolkit? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing that has a lot of things that could solve your problem. Uh, one other exciting resource we added this year are parent resource bags, and we have those around a variety of topics. So handling grief, handling tantrums, toilet training, just a variety of different things that might come up at home. We also have parent resources available every month around the different topics that we teach. And we have home versions of most of the tools that we're using. So for example, the solution toolkit that we use in the classroom, we provide a version of it that can be used at home too with family members. When children graduate from Pearson and move on to kindergarten, our goal is for them to be able to identify their own emotions, 
identify emotions in others, be part of a group, show whole body listening in a classroom setting, be able to be a flexible thinker and a social problem solver, know how to initiate and sustain social interactions with friends. Those are skills that kindergarten teachers have all identified as essential to learning and essential to really be building blocks that need to be in place before kids are able to truly move on to some of the more academic rigor of elementary school. Woo!